Hello everyone and welcome to a Jurassic World Evolution news and update video. But before we get into this that so you can see on the screen right before me, uh, there's a few things I want to talk to you about. I can officially say that now I have been to a Jurassic World Evolution event. I, however, cannot say what the event was about at all, but you can probably guess. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm able to say this is because it was actually under uh, an embargo, but somebody <laughs> broke the embargo, saying that they had went. Oh dear. <laughs> I wonder why somebody would do that. So what I wanted to tell you guys is that tomorrow, 3 p.m. GMT, which you can probably translate to whatever time zone you're in, um, there will be something special on the channel. Again, can't say what it is, but be really excited because it's going to be awesome. And I made sure that what is going to be on the channel is the best it can be. I had a second try. It'll all become clear. It'll all become clear. But anyway, either way, um, what I wanted to do is go over the biggest news that is today so far. And it's releasing tomorrow. Yep, that's yep, 26th of tomorrow. Um... A post on the Jurassic World Evolution forums from our boy Stegs says, Hi everyone, are you ready to become the Alpha? Four brand new Velociraptor skins are coming to the game in a very special dinosaur cosmetic DLC. The Jurassic World Evolution Raptor Squad skin collection. Lookalikes of Charlie, Delta, Echo and Blue will be waiting for you to incubate from the 26th of November, which is tomorrow. As you're watching this video as of is going up today. Uh, become the Alpha with a brand new Jurassic World Evolution Raptor Squad skin collection. The complete skin set of the original Jurassic World Velociraptors. With this pack, you'll gain access to new unlockable genes which will allow you to incubate Velociraptors with these fantastic new skins. Um, and if there's any more, here we go, another one. The Jurassic World Evolution Raptor Squad skin collection is come 26 on Steam, Xbox One and PlayStation for £1.49 or €2 Euros or $2.00. Which actually, you if you are in America, I think you're getting a better price. Either that or you're getting gypped in Europe. Because a euro is stronger than a dollar. So, there's that. <laughs> Prices may vary depending on your region and platform. There you go. Uh, PlayStation users, please note, here we go. Uh, you may start to see the pack on your store depending on your region. However, it will not be playable until the official release date stated above. So, in other words... I think they're trying to say that if you guys on PlayStation get it before the 26th, you won't, you still won't be able to play it. So you might be able to buy it, but you can't play it. This is interesting because it's definitely stirred up um, emotions in the community. Um, for one, we're finally getting it. We're finally getting something that, if I we're going to be honest, probably should have been in the game at the start. These Raptors have been highly requested uh, from the very beginning. Um, and that's what uh, you've, you've even seen people that have done mods have modded the game have added blue You've probably seen thumbnails of people uh, Actually putting blue in their game because it's and even when the game is so hard to mod and when fixes are happened all the time to get rid of that uh, They still find a way uh, Life uh, finds a way I guess you could say so the first one Charlie we, I mean if you remember do you remember Jurassic World Evolution? Uh, sorry Jurassic World the game uh, Jurassic World do you remember Jurassic world it was a long time ago i know uh charlie which was the green one delta which was that less greeny one who was kind of gray echo which is to be fair of all of them the only one that i definitely could tell apart because it was brown and blue these skins however are really really accurate to the movie um i don't know if we can even see um, blue, can we even, can we zoom in? We can't even zoom in on these. Unless, unless we can go control plus. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. Um, I'm going to have to accept cookies, aren't I? Oh dear. There we go. <laughs> so look at that, Charlie. I mean, to be fair, 150. Let's talk about the price, 150. Is it worth it for these skins? I mean, we've paid more for Primal Carnage skins. Let's be fair. Like, <laughs> uh, but then again, saying that though, you play as the dinosaur, which is kind of in that favor. But for these skins at this point, when we've got, you know, kind of similar skins, like the normal Raptor skin in Jurassic World Evolution kind of looks like 
Charlie, without the eye, without the stripes down the back. We've had a beigey one that kind of looks like Echo, without the stripes down the back. And yeah, really out of all of these, um, blue is the only one that we've definitely wanted um, because it is so unique. Um, and unfortunately, uh, these are skins. How I would have loved this to have gone about was to have Blue, Echo, Delta, and Charlie as um, separate Raptors. So maybe they just had different default stats or different behaviors. Even then, they've done the best. So you get the skin and then you can modify them. Maybe make Blue more aggressive so it's got more attack. Maybe make Echo more defensive. So what's interesting is uh, seeing what everybody else thinks about it. So we've got a volunteer moderator who is definitely not biased, saying, cool, I look forward to having a squad of these Velociraptors. And I do too, but this is something they probably should have been in from the start. Um, we, I mean, it was Jurassic World Evolution, right? There was, there was definitely three things missing. There was the Raptor Squad, the Pteranodons in the Avery, and the... Um, actually, to be fair, there was a lot missing. But the Mosasaur is the biggest thing that's missing, and we still have yet to receive a Mosasaurus or any sort of aquatic creatures. Um, also, this shows with this new DLC coming out, with these new skins, um, the uh, people have been asking about Jurassic World Evolution 2, the sequel. Because um, if you're German, you'd do that, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, the sequel, and if I've got to be honest, if they are working on a sequel, they're doing a great job of hiding it uh, with all of this effort that they're putting into this game. And, you know, we're, we're coming up to 2020. One more year, you've got the final movie. Um, and it feels like with the progression that this is going towards, um, it's just going to be Jurassic World Evolution here on out until near the release of the new movie. Then we'll probably get another new film, if you were to ask me. And I don't know anything. <laughs> I actually don't know anything, don't worry, don't read it. Don't read into that, guys, okay? I'm not gonna clickbait you, say come back to me channel because I might know things. Uh, any word on the Vivid Ankylosaurus having a wider distribution? Yes, now if you didn't know, the Vivid Ankylosaurus skin uh, was released only as a Humble Bundle package. Are you missing out on anything in particular? No, it was just a red ankylosaur, like a very dull reddish on, and a little bit of green. It was like a Christmassy looking ankylosaur. You know what, let's skip until we get, there we go, the first paragraph, which actually has one, two likes. While I'd like to own these skins, as I already have four Velociraptors in my park, I did even name after the four Raptors in the movie. See, people are already doing this. I certainly don't like the fact one has to pay for it. Frontier, sorry, but seriously, the game wasn't cheap when it came out, and let's be honest, it was half finished. Frontier did an amazing job on expanding it, but it's still lacking in several aspects. Dinosaurs are still walking through each other. Oh dear, oh yeah, no, you'll, uh, you'll, you might find that out tomorrow. <laughs> The engine database is a mess. Guests and shopping management is lacking immersion. Uh, we even had to pay for additional content that granted the Indominus Rex an ability that should have been part of the base game already. And now we shall pay even more, not much, but still, money for a tiny addition that doesn't change anything besides four skins. As cool as they are, no. Those skins are movie stuff and facts. It could have been part of a free update like the Nazuto Ceratops, but no, of course we can buy that as well. A dinosaur pack here, a DLC there, and now some skin and cosmetic additions that don't change anything besides four darn skins. I sometimes have a feeling players who bought everything additional to this game spent in the end way more money than this game is actually worth. Sorry for this little rant, but that's just my opinion. They have an incredibly fair point. I'm not gonna lie. I feel as though if you put in, if you put in the, the price you paid, all the DLCs, all the skin packs, even the humble bundle that you would have to buy to get everything in the game, you're talking over like what, 150? I'd, I'm, I'm not gonna just spitball out there, but it's, it's definitely over 100 quid. I don't, however, have too much of a problem with this because it is just 150. Uh, the DLCs I do have a problem with, however, is stuff like the Claire's DLC and the the Henry Wu, which really only added a few dinosaurs. New campaigns, which I'm not really bothered about because they don't have longevity for me personally. Once I've played them once, that's it. 
I'm done. Um, it, what is good about them is the genetics, the skins, the new dinosaurs. Um, this is just outright £150 for just the skins. And if this is the start, then maybe we can see other raptor skins come back. So we're talking maybe the Lost World ones, the Tiger Stripe ones, maybe the Jurassic World 3. Yeah, no, sorry, Jurassic Park 3. Something, you know, can we get the female and the male variant? And c extra props if you get the male skin with the feathers. That would look amazing. Um, however, this does also spark a worrying trend that maybe there will be a Lost World pack. Maybe there'll be a Jurassic Park 3 pack. Uh, maybe there'll be, you know, so we're starting to get into, you know, £1.50 there, £1.50 there, one, uh, it's five quid already, it's over five quid already. <laughs> You've got, what, ten skins. <laughs> You're spending a lot of money. Uh, it's just something that I think needs addressing. It's cool. Don't get me wrong, I love it. It adds just that extra level of authenticity that Jurassic World Evolution really needs. But at the same time, it is only skin deep. Hey, uh, thank you, thank you. Yay. <laughs> what Jurassic World really needs is more management, more in-depth uh, micromanaging, uh, guests that feel real, and more buildings, more, more disasters, more dinosaur animations, interactions, Maybe like with Planet Zoo, bonuses for different dinosaurs getting on together. Uh, you know, like in JPOG, you had dino nerds who really appreciated, they were hard to please, but they appreciated having the certain flora and fauna in the right exhibit, the certain dinosaurs from the same time period in that same exhibit. That's what we need. We need something that isn't just plonk down the dinosaurs. Oh, it looks a little bit different with a different skin, that's it. Um, but as far as this goes, really good. Leave in the comments down below uh, what you think of this little update. Again, stay tuned tomorrow, less than 24 hours. In fact, it's almost 12 hours. It's less than 12 hours. Um, I will have some videos that I'm really excited to share with you. I've put in, hopefully, like even when the event happened, I spent extra time just making sure I made you guys happy. I think that's the best way I can say it. And in the editing process, I've, you know, when thing, you know, certain things happen, I, I'll, I'll make sure to, I can't say anything. That's a problem. <laughs> I can't say anything. Maybe I'm overhyping it. You'll have to find out, but I don't think I am. I'm really excited to show it to you guys and uh, see what you guys think of it. So um, yeah, leave me, leave in the comments below. What do you think of these? Is it a cash grab? Is it a downward sp trend spiral thing that's going to start happening? Or is it not too bad? And are you happy that we're going to maybe be getting other skins as well? As we've seen with the Return to Jurassic Park, we've seen the, you know, the big one Raptor skins and maybe even a variant of that skin too. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned on this channel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and supporting all of the content that I do. I love doing it and I'm just really appreciative that you allow me to do it because it's a passion that you kind of have to have a passion for stuff like this or else it gets boring real quick. <laughs> or very, it's very easy or plain to see that somebody doesn't enjoy themselves. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,